So these are our two new hard cheese vats, which we um, bought from Jasper Hill Farm in Vermont. Oh, it's taken a while. They crossed the Atlantic last winter. Then the rest of the stainless steel, which is part of this setup, the pre-press table, uh, the presses themselves, uh, we've designed them uh, with a company in France to be compatible with our system, with the amount of milk that we'll have in these and everything. So it's been a sort of bit of an engineering project as well, which has been fun. Um, and these are going to be what we make Ashcombe Morton and probably a number of other hard cheeses in. Um, each one holds one and a half thousand litres of milk. Uh, so it's a big upscale in terms of uh, production volume. To fill the vats, we'll uncouple there and then sort of make the cheese um, stood up on this little gantry. Once we've done the preparation of the milk and rennetted, the, uh, the cutting of the curd will be automated. The kind of cheeses that we'll make in these vats, washed curd cheeses, so we've got this little bit on here which will be connected to a pump so we can remove the whey nice and easily um, and then replace the whey that we've removed uh, with hot water. Once the curds have been uh, washed and cooked <coughs> in these vats, there will obviously be a big valve on the end here. Uh, when the curds are ready to leave the vat, we'll open the valve, the curds will flow into our pre-pressing table. The entire contents of one of those will come into here. We'll put these plates over the top. There's a stainless steel bar which will run either side lengthways here and then we'll use the, the pneumatic jacks here to press the whole lot. Six by two and a half foot curd block into one. When it's ready, we'll take the way off and then put these blades on and cut that entire mass into 30 perfectly uniform sized square blocks of cheese. Cut each one in half, put the ash in, put the square block of curd into the round cheese mold, put the follower on and then load up the press. So these presses should hold 30 of these micro perforated molds, which would be the production from one of those vats. This is exactly like what was up where our soft cheese creamery now is when we got here. 30-ish years old maybe. That was all cow kennels with this where the cows would be overwintered. So we can go and have a look in. So we're, the plan is to bring this building down, put a new shed up on this footprint, adjoin the two buildings, little Jenny Wren's not happy about us being in here, uh, adjoin the two buildings and also join this to the hard cheese creamery. We'll have four long maturing rooms for each of the different hard cheeses. I think it's about, it's about 50 tonnes of cheese should be able to be matured in here at any given time, which would be about a good 50% of the farm's milk production over the course of a year could be held in this building. <laughs>